Today, let's talk about capacitors. In this video, we will derive an expression for series and parallel capacitors. We will identify series and parallel capacitors. And we'll run through a few examples calculating total capacitance. So here are some capacitors in a series configuration hooked up to a voltage source. The combination of these capacitors will represent one single capacitor with an effect of plate separation greater than that of the individual capacitors by themselves. And that would look something like this over here. You see the equivalent capacitor has a larger plate separation. Series connections produce a total capacitance that is less than any of the individual capacitors. So the total equivalent capacitance is going to be less than each of these capacitor values. We can find the expression for total capacitance by first considering the voltage across individual capacitors. So let's do that. So capacitance C is equal to charge Q over voltage V. And if we rearrange for voltage, we get voltage equals charge over capacitance. So the voltages across the individual capacitors would be V1 is equal to Q over C1, V2 equals Q over C2, and V3 equals Q over C3. The total voltage is the sum of the individual voltages. So we can write VT, or our total voltage, as Q over CT, or our total capacitance, and that's equal to the sum of the three voltages. So from this we can get Q over total capacitance is equal to Q over C1 plus Q over C2 plus Q over C3. And canceling out the Qs, we're left with one over the total capacitance is equal to one over C1 plus one over C2 plus one over C3. That's the equation for the total capacitance in series. And it doesn't matter how many capacitors there are, this can go on for as many as you need. Now let's talk about capacitors that are in parallel. Here we have our three capacitors, and each one of them is directly connected to our voltage source. Here's what the equivalent capacitor setup looks like. The equivalent capacitor has a larger plate area, and therefore it can hold more charge than the individual capacitors. Now the total equivalent capacitance is equal to the sum of each of the individual capacitors. That's because each individual capacitor is hooked up to the voltage source. So total capacitance is just C1 plus C2 plus C3 and so on. Okay, so now that we talked about parallel and series capacitors, let's go through a few examples. So we have a setup here where we have two capacitors in series and one off over here and that would be considered parallel. So first let's calculate these two series capacitors. So recall the equation for series capacitors is just one over C total is one over C1 plus one over C2 and that's all we have here. So for this, we're gonna get one over C total is equal to one over two microfarads plus one over three microfarads, which will give us about 1.2 microfarads. So here we see those two capacitors became this one equivalent capacitor, which is worth 1.2 microfarads. And now we're left with two capacitors in a parallel configuration. Remember to find total capacitance of parallel capacitors. All we need to do is add up the capacitors. 
So total capacitance will be 1.2 microfarads plus 7 microfarads, which gives us 8.2 microfarads. How about this one? We have a lot more capacitors, a lot more going on. So let's figure it out. So we have two capacitors in series on this side, and we have two capacitors in parallel on this side. Let's start with these two. So they're in parallel, we can just add them up. 15 plus 0.75, 15.75 microfarads. Now these two are also in series. So let's do one over, so let's do one over CT is equal to one over 1 1.5 microfarads plus one over 15.75 microfarads. That leaves us with about 1.37 microfarads. There we go. And notice that the value we got is less than the value of the two capacitors we had before. Now let's find the equivalent capacitor for these two series capacitors. So we get one over CT equals one over five plus one over 3.5. And this gives us about 2.06 microfarads. Okay, so now we're left with three capacitors in parallel. And because they're in parallel, now all we have to do is add them up. 2.06 microfarads plus eight plus 1.37. That gives us a total capacitance of about 11.43 microfarads. So there we go. We went over series and parallel capacitors. We derived expressions for each. We went over a couple examples where we were able to identify series and parallel capacitors, and we were able to calculate total capacitance. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.